Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another cruise video. So right now we are on the Carnival Pride for 21 days. We are doing a back-to-back -back in Europe, going from Rome to uh, Greece, all over, Turkey. And we thought we would do a little video for you of our cabin, not specifically of the cabin, but of the things that we bring when we do these longer cruises specifically over in Europe, when you're going to be in the same cabin, we booked our, our cabin for both cruises on a back-to-back -back for a long amount of time that really help um, maximize your space while not bringing a lot of extra things because of course you don't want to overpack your bags and be carrying a lot of weight or paying for a lot of weight. But we do find a few things extra helpful when we are doing these long <laughs> cruises. And by we, I mean mom, because she mainly figured all of this out and I just benefit from her expertise. <laughs> Is that not how most things in life go? Yeah, that's the way it goes. <laughs> so the first one you can see here on the wall is this over the door hanger. So this is very similar to if you've ever been in a small college dorm, you might have utilized one of these. We bring them and hang them with magnetic hooks on the wall. Yes. And typically, well, you can put anything you want in here. A lot of people do put shoes in them because there's really no great place to store your shoes. No. If you bring multiples in these cabins, the closets are long and skinny and tiny and we tend to keep our dirty clothes in the bottom meaning unless you want your dirty clothes and your shoes co-mingling there's not a great place i tend to just keep my shoes on the floor by the foot of my bed since our window is not a balcony there's nobody's going over here um but what do you like to keep in it mom we keep our snacks in there yes and then extra toiletries and stuff like that. Things that you don't necessarily want on your counters or yeah. have to get out in a drawer. There's only limited, limited space for counter space yes. and drawer space. I have a, a, and while you don't necessarily need to bring snacks on a shorter five or six day cruise, um, and of course you can always go up to Ludo, Lido for yes. snacks, when you're on these long 20 day cruises, Having snacks is really nice, both in the room and when you're going on excursions. We went to, y'all will see, a nine hour excursion to yes. Pompeii when we were in, what is that, Naples? Naples, yeah. And while you had one stop to get food, there's not a lot of times to get snacks. You're on the bus for an hour, two hours, three hours sometimes getting from these ports of call in Europe. Yes to where you're going. I mean, we're going to Florence tomorrow and that's going to be a couple hours getting there and getting back. So while there's plenty to eat on the ship, we like to bring snacks that we know we can eat and that we know will stay good right. on those excursions. So we have peanuts, we have some uh, peanut butter Cracker. crackers, we have some oatmeal cookies, we have some trail mix. Mom, of course, has her Cheetos. all important, highly nutritious Cheetos. She brought a yes. party size bag. And also for on the plane. And her carry on on the plane. It was on that the plane. important. It's good to have it stuff on the plane because you don't want to pay those ridiculous oh plane gosh. prices. They gave us food on the plane, but it wasn't very good. No. The so. other thing we do is while well, this guy is held up by four small magnets. We also have larger magnets that we use to hang up our day packs, or this is a pool pack for if we're going to the uh, beach. Yes. You know, when you're going on a lot of these excursions, you need a backpack or a tote bag, and there's nowhere to put that in the cabin except on your couch or on your counter. So the hooks are right. great for getting those up off the floor. Um, you can put your hats on them. You can put souvenir bags on them. I've yes. got a whole wall of them to the other side of the couch and that in this particular cabin is considered an interior cabin because it has a obstructed view of the lovely life raft yes so it is considered an interior but we have a couch most interiors don't have couch so this room while it is an interior is almost 
It's just big. I don't want to say double, but it's almost double the size of an actual interior cabin. It is a great interior. If you ever get on a ship that has a 4K. 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 You pay for an interior. It's less than an ocean view. Ocean views have a window that's three feet by four feet. This is a full size it's floor to glass ceiling. door window. It doesn't open, but it gets all, gives you all kinds of light and you get the couch. Yes. So it just gives you so much more living space. One of the other things that we always bring is an extension cord. Yes. Or what mom has recently found is oh, this yes. power bank. It has a very long cord and you can plug in uh, four USBs and three plugs because in almost any cruise cabin, you only get one plug. It's never by the beds. It is across the room yes. by the mirrors. And so you need either an extension cord to bring your phone charger across the room or just to plug in, say, a hair straightener and a hair dryer and yes. your phone at the same time. You can't do that. Mainly so, all our all our electronics. Yeah. So we, we like to bring it across the room. A lot of the newer ships are putting USBs in the lamps, which is really nice. But the Pride is not a newer ship. And yes. although they just went through dry dock, they did not upgrade our lamps. No. Maybe the suites have fancy lamps. We are not that fancy. We also brought a portable charger. So these are great for any excursions. Again, that long nine hour uh, excursion day. There's not a lot of great places to charge your phone if you are taking pictures, if you're mm -hmm. taking videos. And while if you're on a tour, they are pretty good about keeping track of you. <laughs> if you ever get left or lost, you will be very glad that your phone is fully charged if you are yes. in a foreign country with no way to get back. So this is a great one. I'll link all these things down below. None of this is sponsored. These are things that we, aka mom, bought with our own hard earned money <laughs> and that we just really use on every single trip. And yes. we use this guy even in Rome because the hotel we were staying at, Oh my gosh, whatever their power outage on their outlets was, it was atrocious. I plugged my phone in for an hour and a half. It went from 45 to 46% charged. So we use this for the three days we stayed in Rome, even though we were in a hotel, with outlets ready accessible. It was ridiculous. Yes. And we were able to charge my phone and mom's phone five times before we had to re yes. replug this baby in. So it, it came in real Amazon. handy. Got it on yeah. Amazon. Got all this on Amazon. Yeah. So you can see here, these larger magnets are great for your heavier bags. So my tote bag will not stay up on some of these smaller magnets, but the bigger ones do. They're technically wreath holders. So the same ones I use to hold my wreath over my uh, stove in my kitchen on my range hood and on my front door. Mom also has this backpack, which of course, whether you have a day pack or a tote bag, you'll find that a lot of people have this backpack. Have you noticed that yeah, same exact when we're walking around, I'll see this backpack everywhere, but it's a great backpack because it has a spot for your portable charger so you can actually put your portable charger in the bag zip it up and then just plug your phone into this port which is great yes. i used it in alaska when i was with dad and i didn't tell him i had a portable charger my phone was just plugged into my backpack and it wasn't until we got back to the ship and i took it out he was like you had a portable charger in there and i was like did you think i just plugged my phone into the backpack for fun he was like, I had no idea what you were thinking. <laughs> but in addition to that, in a lot of these European ports, we bring safety pins because the pickpockets are so bad over here. So we safety pin our little guys shut. Of course, there are spots for uh, locks if you want to be even more secure. But we find that just safety pinning all of the zippers shut we haven't had any issues. Nobody's pickpocketed our backpack. It also has a spot on the back right against your back where you can put your wallet or your passport or your more important travel documents. And then mom got this very fancy selfie stick. Um, I have one that I like to use, but mom picked this one up 
And it's actually pretty fun because it ha came with a clicker. So you can set it up, walk across the way, and then uh, take your picture remotely. It actually goes out like a selfie stick. It is a tripod. And it is a tripod. So if you're looking for just one thing that's lightweight, even if you're not filming like we are, it's great for just taking pictures yes. without having to ask someone else, hey, will you take my picture? Yes. So you also notice that we do bring, this is just something we do. Um, we each bring a towel usually because each we like towel. something a little heavier than the sheet, but lighter than the comforter. And so this is our version. Mom has a giant dolphin towel. And I, somebody sent me this. I don't even know where it's from, but I like it. I prefer to bring my weighted blanket on trips that are not in Europe, but it's way too, uh, too, heavy. too heavy for these European trips. The last thing we always bring, oh, did you find something? Oh, mom wants to show you her basket. This is my little basket. You don't have to have a basket. It could just be a cardboard box, but I like to put all my little nighttime stuff, my dental floss, chapstick, batteries for my uh, um, flashlight. I have some tongs. You know, just all the stuff that just rattles around on your I nightstand. I usually have little, um, I keep my little um, cough drops in here. So, and that way it's just, otherwise it just falls off my bedside table the whole time. And you just start trying to find it under your bed all the time. And then, so this is nice. I just stuff it with socks and stuff in my suitcase and it doesn't take up any room at all. The last thing that we both bring, and I don't think this was on purpose, but we each have one of these hanging toiletry bags. I prefer my hard case when we're in the U.S., but these are great for traveling to Europe because you can put all your toiletries in them and then any extra space you can put socks, underwear, all the stuff that you need but don't I necessarily have space. I don't even unpack yeah. when I go home. I have yeah. It's just your cruise stuff. It's my cruise stuff. It stays in my carry-on bag and I just, just bring it with me. And it gets it off the counter which is the main point because I have one that is a hard case and I like to bring it because it loops on my suitcase but that one does sit on the counter and as you can see there's not a lot of counter space but if you can hook those hang them up in the tiny cruise bathrooms you have twice as much space so if you want any other tips and trips tips and trips I do have that other little um let us know down below and we will uh, make more videos like this. But before I go, mom wants me to show you her little plug-in guy. So in addition to the power bank that we put under the bed, she brings this triple one so she can plug the power bank and then a fan and her hair, hair straightener. So we get a fan from the steward and that always plugs right into that guy. And the problem is if you don't bring a triple you're going to be plugging plug. all those things into the power bank, which would work. But again, it's just opposite sides of the room. You'll it's be moving it back and forth. And you, and you don't want to have a surge protector. They will confiscate a surge protector. Yes, it's a it fire hazard. A power strip. Yes. So, so a little there you go. Power plug. And mine is um, grounded, so that's kind of nice. That always helps. I hope you liked this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.